Hey kids, this is Claire. Let's play some Sword of Mana. Today we are in Vincent Hall, and today we have a Salamander. Salamander uses fire magic. It's pretty awesome. We're still gonna... Actually, we're probably gonna use Salamander magic for most of this place, because our magic is terrible, so we won't be able to cast very much, and the support magic from Salamander will more than pay for itself, because we can double the physical attack of anything we do. Not that I'm gonna use it on these jerks. You're a jerk. You are a jerk. Let's get this thing. Yeah, it's a magic walnut. That restores 80 MP, but we only have a maximum of 12, because we are a monk. We are the most monk. We're a grappler. Almost. Not quite. We will be soon. I just death blow two of those guys with arrows. But nah, Vinket Hall is troublesome. But we'll get to that in a second. Right now we're going to shoot that bat and then we're going to ignore that door. That door we will go in maybe. Right now we are going to go this way. Oh hell no. This. This guy here. This is the dick move. This is a very dick move. See, hang on. Let's try shooting it with arrows first. It's immune to arrows. Okay, maybe we can hit it with our staff then. No, it is immune to staff attacks as well. And it's also immune to light magic. We are going to have to use fire magic. And if that doesn't work, then, you know, we can't win. Because we have to get through this room. We have to kill that guy. We don't have any magic, though. So let me tell you a little story, okay? If you're playing as Hansel in that room, and you go through that room, mirror reversed because he's on the other side of the mansion, you'll fight one of these guys instead. These are zombies. They are also resistant to both the staff and the bow. So you need to take them out with magic. Difference being, the he Hansel will only have fire magic at the time. But we have light magic to start with before we even get into the mansion. And light magic, as it just so happens, is extremely effective on the undead. But we can't actually cast more than two spells without having to rest. Also, those guys hurt when they hit you. You know what? No. We're going to go this way, so... What Hansel has to do in that room with the bug thing that's immune to everything but fire, he has to fight... Oh, get out of the way. He has to fight a zombie, so he has to use fire magic on it. And since he doesn't have light magic, then, you know, that's his deal. If he was playing as a monk, he would only have a maximum of 6 MP, so he'd have to rest between every single casting. That's not the big deal, though. The big deal is that, you know, you have to actually be inclined to cast magic. If you are, then you can cast, like, 5 spells in a row and maybe even kill the guy in that time. Even though the undead are not particularly weak to fire magic, it's the only thing that works. This guy, though, not only is he immune to everything but fire magic, and not only are we playing as a physically inclined character, but this enemy does not appear anywhere else in the game. He doesn't even get a notebook entry. He is solely placed in this room to make you use fire magic repeatedly, even if your magic is terrible, to kill him. And you might be thinking, oh, but maybe, just maybe, it's to teach you to use fire magic rather than light magic. No, that is, that is wrong. You are wrong. They have a way to do that. There's these things called seal stones. They're basically like metaballs, right? Except rather than using physical attacks, you use magic. They have one for each element. And they could have just put a fire seal stone in here. You equip your fire magic, you cast a spell, and it dies. But no. Instead, we have to get this thing stuck on chandelier so it doesn't murder us to death. We have to rest for stupid amounts of time to recover our magic. And this guy does not even have an entry in the notebook. He... This enemy only exists in this one place to be this one dick move. I hate him the most. I'm going to shoot you to death. You are now on fire. Burn! Burn! Let us never speak of this again. Also, enemies that burn to death don't give you experience or lucre, but I'm pretty sure that guy probably didn't give it anyway because... Seriously, what were the devs even thinking with that? Let's just, let's just move on. Let's get a level. Let's be confused, because the bat shot us with sonic waves, and sound waves always confuse people. Anyway, yeah, we're level 4 monk. Level 5 all over, but we have 4 ranks in monk skill. More zombies! Oh no! 
Let's try fighting him with light magic. As you can see, the trajectory from the bow when using magic is the same as an arrow. It doesn't let you hit them twice, though, like you can with the bow if you're good or if you're positioned just right. But that's okay. It's still a pretty good casting weapon for the uh, for Hansel because his sword, it just creates a little explosion, a tiny explosion, right in front of him. It's barely worth the effort. But yeah, if we were going to have a zombie in that room like Hansel would have, we could have taken it out in just three shots, even though we don't have any magical training at all because we just use light magic. But they don't want you to do that. They want to make sure you have fire magic. So they go through the stupidest thing they can to make you make sure they have fire magic. <sighs> Seriously, that thing, that, that thing is why? Why would you do that? You are a bad person, game designers. At least everything else in here is just bats and slimes and those undead. We can ignore the undead and the bats and slimes we can just shoot, so... I mean, there are rooms we can go into, but basically all these rooms just have three zombies pop out at random and then try to kill you, and there's no treasure in them, so it's like monster closets in that one game, that one that you don't like. But it's not the same as monster closets, because you can just run out right after without having to do the fights, so it's, it's a thing. I have a death blow. I will death blow you. Yeah. Death blows are fun. Some weapons have some pretty crazy death blows, too. Anyway, more zombies in that room. A bunch of these rooms are just zombies. It's kind of dumb. Oh, hey, we found the plot room. And Gretel goes eek, because that's how she reacts to everything that surprises her. Or that scares her, or... Yeah. Anyway, there are mana women in there. And eek, again. The butler has appeared. One of the butlers. There's two. Anyway, this is a place with mana women in it. Too early. What are you talking about? Also, why are they in coffins and sleeping? We know because we're a wizard. And that's a ghost. And you're a butler. That's not fitting at all. You should fix that. That's right, that ghost was evil. Oh, there you go. Now he's a werewolf. Let us fight him with our staff. Except, not really, because moon magic! He's got moon magic. That stuff hurts. Either you'll be, phys you'll be magically weak to it, because you're playing a fighter type like us, or you'll have low hit points, because you're playing a caster type, like we're not like we're supposed to be because we are the female character. But no, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get Salamander. We're going to buff up our attack power. We're going to clobber him until he dies. I mean, we miss a fair bunch of the attacks, but yeah, he can't stand up to us. We have attack power. We're awesome. That's right. It's the same ghost. It's an evil spirit. They want you to meet the Count. Let's not do that. Oh, the, the evil spirit is kind. And we actually are going to meet the Count. Because I don't know. I don't know what this person is thinking at any given time. I don't know what anyone in this game is thinking at any given time. All I know is I'm going to shoot guys with arrows. I can one-shot bats if I have an attack buff thanks to Salamander. It's pretty awesome. Get over here, you. I have an arrow for you. Now I have a level and a box. What's in the box? A trap is in the box. Can we survive the trap? Yes, we are safe. And we get... Morph meat. Morph. Really? Morph meat? That slime was not made of meat, it was made of slime. And now it gave us meat that lets us have a slight, not really worth it, damage and defense bonus against slimes. But whatever. If we're gonna get our last monk level that we need to change class. We are now a grappler. We have a bonus to a weapon we don't have yet. Okay? We will eventually get that weapon. It'll be great. It's a really good weapon, too, but... Yeah, for now, that class bonus is kind of wasted. It couldn't... It's not as bad as it could be. We could get a bonus to the very last weapon we ever get, but whatever. Anyway, yeah. Now we're going to need to decide which class we're going for after this. 
There's two class branches from Monk and, well, from Grappler, and I'll detail those when we get there. But anyway, ooh, it's a dining hall. This is fancy looking. We have a bow that is upgraded. Anyway, what's over here? Ah, it's a golden mana statue. This means that we're probably at the boss of the area, so let's do a little dance. We're gonna go find the Count. I'm clear this has been Let's Play Sword of Mana. Let's go find the Count and ask him why he puts people in coffins. Seriously, that's creepy.